Greetings, ladies and gentlemen! I am Romek from the Snap Mania, the Overlord, the High Evolutionary of the meta by, well, bringing back High Evolutionary. Now, while everyone is saying High Evolutionary is bad now, it's a little too obvious, I'm gonna say one thing. It won me 14 cubes in very high infinite, beat the number one ranked player in the world, beat up everybody as... Because why? This deck is really good against what people are playing. They're playing stuff like Living Tribunal, they're playing stuff like Hella, they're playing endgame combo decks, so we're just gonna do one thing. We're gonna sleep on Sunspot and Misty Knight, armor up the lanes against Destroy, Cosmo the lanes against Destroy, try to magic extend the game, Cyclops hit their stuff to reduce their, well, as you know, their power, and leech their entire hand to try to, well, play the She-Hulk Infinite or the She-Hulk Hulk combo. It is absolutely one of the most, as you can say, brain-dead decks in the game. And while it is kind of easy to play, it does have some diverging lines because you're not always gonna just do the same thing. Sometimes you need to know one thing. Should I play Sunspot on one or Misty Knight on turn one? It is those kinds of nuances that High Evo has. And well, there is not much to explain. It's just a High Evo deck. And I think you'll enjoy seeing me beat up everybody on the ladder. From Hella players to every single other person on the ladder. Even though we did lose one Hella game. Where you will comment immediately. Man, that was the best hand I've ever seen in Marvel Snap. But now, boys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to follow my Twitch channel in the description. Yada, yada, yada. Romic, let's get the snapping. Fine, fine, boys. Let's get snapping. Okay, boys, let's play something that we actually haven't played in two months. It's high Evo time. It's the most free-to-play deck in the entire game. So I decided up against, quite literally, the best player in the entire world. Number one versus number two, I guess. I'm, I'm number two, right? But that's the point. Like, we gotta showcase who's the boss here, and we'll do so with a dramatic fashion. Currently, what is our hand looking like? We have Leech, we have Misty, and we have Sunspot. This is not looking too bad. I'm thinking Crazy is on Living Tribunal. Am I wrong to think that? Oof, I think I should snap that. I'll snap this. We just beat the best player in the world. That's the way we start off a video. I think he's on Living Tribunal. Something's telling me, and this is why I'm playing this deck. Since Living Tribunal is not the most popular deck, let's feast on them. Let's win every game. We don't need anything else. We just need this deck. This deck is the ultimate Living Tribunal Slayer. It runs Leech. It has good tempo plays. Cyclops to disrupt the opponent's lanes by giving them just so much energy leeway. We are not gonna even run Kyera or any of the other Cope stuff. We're just gonna run all the, with like, free-to-play cards. That's why I decided to play this deck today. Like, that is our solemn vow. No pay-to-play cards. Only one Series 5 card. Nothing else. We've literally lost the worst card in our hand. <coughs> No, we've actually lost the best card in our hand, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm looking at- how is Sunspot the worst card I- The Super Flow ain't bad at all. If we had Sunspot here, I would have come, but, you know, that's not what happened. Holy shit. Worst- worst cards back to back to back to back. Uh, can we draw anything that's not She-Hulk? Anything that's not She-Hulk. But I don't really want Cosmo. Sure, I guess. Up against Loki. And they've drawn the god hand, as you can see. I can leech right now, but what does that really do? Sure, I mean, there's nothing else I can really do that's even remotely good. I'll leech. Snowguard Hawk. Good thing we leeched, I guess. Quinjet. Well, this will be interesting. Can we top deck She-Hulk? No. No, we cannot. Well, at this point, might as well magic left. Marvel on- oh my god, his hand is quite literally broken. I guess I pass turn, don't I? Well, we hit his entire hand with magic. I have She-Hulk. The problem is I have nothing, basically, that makes it even remotely that good. Hmm... 
I quite like Cyclops, then we pass, we have She-Hulk reduced by 2, we can play Hulk and She-Hulk. Seems fine enough. He drew a 4 cost. Zabu yelled, Zabu ah! Zabu just screamed like a lunatic there, so... Uh, can the game please work? Thank you. I'm gonna consider he thinks that's a 6 cost right there. So I'm going to hard commit the Hulk mid. Or do I just play Hulk left and hope that's not a Devil Dino? It's a risky line, but it's something we have to do. Yeah, if he snaps, that means he's got some bullshit and I'm not even gonna attempt to play through it. Like, what if he got some busted thing like Red Skull from the thingy, uh, known as Agent Coulson, now it's hit and now we die. If we add Sunspot, this is a completely different game. Yeah, it that's the thing. We gotta manage our retreats quite well. Even though we had a lot of stuff, we just... Really cannot beat this super giant because he does play Alive, and if he did top deck the Alive, we do die, and that's the problem. Because he just has to play it left, boom, you're dead. But oh my, why would he play it left? Ah, uh, because that's the only lane he's not playing into. Uh, oh my god, well, uh, High Evo is really bad, otherwise we're cooking. Okay. Like, we never want to draw this card, especially in this position. When High Evo is on left, we're in such a worse spot than we'd normally be in. Holy, this is a great hand. Not seeing anything from my opponent makes me think this is Hella or Tribunal. I'll consider my approach and go from there. He'd play mid. Of course he would. Gambit, but where? Hitting my best card. Great. Hmm. No, uh, you know what's the problem? No leech in hand. By turn, we it's literally gonna be down to... It, can we top deck leech on the next turn? Let's see. Can we top deck leech on the next turn? If that's a Wong, we actually win. Hmm. He discarded Corvus Glaive. I'm supposed. I need to keep quiet here. I don't want to hit his hand. I play Shocker Cosmo, which is kind of a shocker, ain't it? The collector. And to Dakin. Alright then. We have to pass turn here. And then, consider our options. It's how do we win. Sunspot powers up quite a bit. Depends where Misty Knight lands, I guess. I can play for two lanes. We have She-Hulk in our hand. He, his Wong is disabled. He has no way of outing our other stuff we snap here. Unless he can swap Limbo out right now. Which I doubt he can, but if he can, then I guess I'm dead. It's the one way we lose, if he can swap Limbo. But I'm feeling a bit confident here. Modok discards his entire hand, there goes the Apocalypse. Swarm, oh my god, he does have- Oh! I, oh, he discarded the Hella Carrier. Thanks, game. Thanks for the giant Devil Dino on the spot of the fucking board. I loved that. Truly made me feel even more special than I already am. Oh, that was annoying. He has seven cards in hand now. Even if he does play the Apocalypse... He's not big enough. Do we just say screw Atlantis and go? He plays Apocalypse in two swarms. And a one cost, maybe. Misty Knight can still hit something. Okay. 
I'm going to count on him playing wrong. He has to play absolutely correctly here. And that's playing Apocalypse Mid. Which I'm considering that he's considering that I'm going to do. Uh, you know what I'm going with here? That's my line of logic. Yeah, it's absolutely in our favor. That's why I stayed. Like, this one is in our favor, absolutely. There is no reason why we shouldn't stay. He is afraid of our Misty Knight. If she hits mid, he is dead. Because he needs to overpower one or the other. He can't just let it slide. There is no Dracula on the board. There is nothing that just completely kills us on the spot. So I'm quite happy with, well, whatever we're ha going with there. We have high evo triggering She-Hulk. At least She-Hulk gets hit by Shocker. This is one of the things we want to see. Okay, now we know the interaction with Aunt Maze and everything else. Uh, yesterday we had quite a bit of uh, it, a thingy going on. We have Shocker gonna, who's gonna hit She-Hulk, then we're just gonna pop off in other ways. Leech is quite a great draw. It, and especially if we get magic here. Armor! Hmm. Who the hell plays armor? Shuri? That's a deck we really don't want to hit with Leech. Now, one card we want to draw is the Infinite. That's the only thing we actually want to draw now. Okay, then. We don't even need to look at negative zone. He plays in the Aunt Maze. He can't... Does he plan to work his Forge? He's not that stupid. At least they hope he isn't. Lady Sif. A hella deck. There is a giant problem here, though. I can't exactly leech him. I might won't have to. We'll see. Magneto. Sunspot. Interesting. Can I draw the Infinite off the top? Thank you. Yes, I can. Yes, I can draw the Infinite off the top. Oh, he played Sunspot so he can go something with She-Hulk as well. Do I try to make him look a little stupid? And just leave the negative zone? Because he's now probably considering, oh, he's going to drop into negative zone. Or is this the right line? Like, oops, all aces. Has to be a six cost. Okay, I like this. The Ebony Blade and She-Hulk. We win! Barely, but we still do win. Even though the Ebony Blade is pretty good, I did consider the She-Hulk line and we win two cubes against Rampella. There we go. Man, this is a free-to-play deck you can get with only one Series 5 card and we're climbing in the highest ranks in the game. Jesus, what a great deck. And this is still fun to play. It's just fun. Like, sure, it's a bit brainless, but hey, that, that doesn't mean like every single Marvel Snap deck has to be Oh my god, this is so big brain and inconsistent. That's the problem. A lot of big brain decks are really inconsistent. And why wouldn't you play a deck that's free to play friendly and is good into Hella? Like, why wouldn't you do that? Just play stuff that's good into Hella if everyone's gonna play Hella. Don't be like, oh my god, but this beats Hella, but it's high evil. I hate it, bro. Just play it out. Play it out. That's what I'm trying to tell everyone. Play it out. <laughs> Stop being cringe. Like, it's cringy to think you're cringe. Which is a sentence and a half, but it's cringy to think that you're cringe just because you're playing a good deck. Sunspot against Sunspot. Are, are they Ramp Hella? I don't know why. I keep seeing Ramp Hella up here. Hmm. Do I like Noir Dimension? They're snapping here. I do have one of the best lines in the deck. Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna stay just to see what it is. This is quite an aggressive snap. Black Knight into Blade discarding the Infinite, right? Holy shit. That is... Bar none. The best hand his deck can produce. If we beat him, he is truly... Just dead. He is like, dead as Disco. So we're supposed to do that, huh?
Okay. Oh, yeah, just got revealed. I got kind of confused uh, at the moment. Just like, what happened there, huh? What are we gonna go for? Do I consider playing the Cosmo here? I do. Sussy timer, okay. I want another piece of the puzzle. My god, though, he has a broken hand. That is legitimately the best hand. Romic, why are you doing this? Just, like, shh, I'm trying to think here. There's the Ebony Blade. No, Lady Sif into Magneto. So he's just going for the Hella line. The last card in his hand is the Ebony Blade. Which we know is there. Now we pass on Sunspot. Or if we draw Leech, we play Leech. No, actually we don't play Leech. Ever. He, if, if we don't have the Hella counter, so we're kind of dead. We then draw Leech. If we get She-Hulk, we're in a great spot. Ironically enough, how bad it might seem. He literally drew free one costs and the best part of his deck. He, he top decked Hella. He top decked Hella. The game wants him to win. Oh, hey, hey, Leech. How's, how's it going, buddy? The fact he top decked Hella is just like... Oh my god. I guess you win. You're so good, man. Jesus Christ. That was... <laughs> These people, man. Yeah, nice five rank 500. I saw you lose to Mogwai before in the day for 8 cubes. Get bent, did you? Like, get out of here, dude. You dropped 300 ranks, you win 2 cubes because you had the most broken hand of all time and now you're acting like high and mighty. Come on, get out of my face. People, just like, people are so BM heavy. Hi, ah, I won with one of the best decks in the game. Woo, yeah, good job, buddy. We'll see what we're up against. Pro Phoenix, he does play Hella. He does not play the Phoenix Force. We have it on video. So I'm interested. Hmm. Multiple men? Zabu. Okay, then. Zabu makes me think this is Living Tribunal. That's a card and a half. I don't... I like Atlantis? Like, I'm fine with it. Cosmo. Rock Slide up against a Darkhawk deck. Well, this will be interesting. I want to see the new Darkhawk. Cyclops? No. Okay, then. I guess I do play the Shocking Man. Darkhawk? Sentry and Eyeless. Uh, oh, and he got Shadowland. Well, this is gonna be fun. I need to top deck Misty Knight. Thank you. Sometimes you're that good. Romek, like, why are you so good at the game? I have no idea, man. How did I get so good? It's not as good as it should be. This is just a lost lane in a nutshell, but... No sentry, no Annihilus. I guess he was baiting me. He does play Alive. I'm sure he does. Which means that was the, a well timed Widow's Bite. I gotta hand it to him. He did get the best location for his deck, but mm, he is playing quite well into us. I gotta pass and do my broken stuff. If he snaps, we're gonna get out. Like, I gotta hand it to this guy, he's playing really well. 
Sometimes they don't draw the Annihilus, I gotta be thinking about this stuff, but the Annihilus is just such a threat. I have to be playing around it. That Misty Knight top deck was the thing. Like, that was just the thing we needed. Even if he does have the Elioth, all he needs is Annihilus to win. But if he had Annihilus, he would have played it by now. Too bad we didn't draw- Oh my god, armor kills his deck, I just realized that. If we got the armor, we actually win. There's Darkhawk. Annihilus, he has Zabu, he has the thing, he has the busted guy. Does he play Shadow King though? He moves the Jeff, right? Isn't that what he's gonna do? It all depends. Does he have the Annihilus? Actually, we die to more stuff than just Annihilus. We die to Shang-Chi. Because our Sunspot is at 10. And that's a fatal problem. I think we should get out. But... Sometimes you really want to play games out. And that's me right now. I really want to play this game out. I couldn't play the Widow's Bite, so his Darkhawk will stick at high attack. Hmm. A Mystique Darkhawk. She will be 12. Iron Lad, don't be an Eyeless. Okay, he's the Hood, Shang-Chi, and... The final card is... Korg! Not enough. Close, but not enough. Even Darkhawk playing how many cards? Them playing 9 cards was not enough to beat our 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cards. Yeah, our cards are just way more high quality. Our cards just do everything. Dude, this deck is insane. Let's play one more. I'm having fun. A rarity in Marvel Snap. We're having fun. Who can believe this? Currently, we're up by a bunch of cubes. I've lost some by trying to play negative, and it's impossible. That deck is garbage. That deck is garbage. -yo. There is no way to make that deck ever good. It is one of the worst decks in the game, I think. And I, it's really it has one thing also going for it. It's not fun. Like, playing negative isn't fun. You get sacked so hard by Mobius, by drawing badly, by opponents just playing your deck better than you can in Loki. Oh no, you have a zero cost five negative. Anyway, who cares? Loki has everything way better than you ever could. It's just so boring and uninteresting. I hate that deck. I loved negative before but when not everyone had outs to it, but now everyone has an out to negative and you're like looking. Oh god, please don't kill me. Like, just don't kill me again. Why Why do you keep killing me? What the hell? Like, it's so annoying. I hate that. I hate it. It was so... It was the most boring time of my life. Playing Mr. Negative in Marvel Snap. Like, Jesus Christ. No wonder he's named Mr. Negative. He does the thing to you. Swarm. Hmm. Coiling Wing. So this is as usual... Business as usual discard? Well, I have a Shining Beacon known as Sunspot. Morbius. Gambit. Just don't kill the Sunspot and we're cooking. I mean, it's not that bad. Still. Gotta think about that. No, the leech off the top? No leech off the top. Uh, I gotta think about Morbius who's, because he scales a ton. I'll play high evo. No, actually, do I play high evo? That takes more space and doesn't provide me much. Mm, I wish... If I top deck the infinite, I'm in a really good spot. So I'll think about it. It's... Ah, it's our Hela variant also. How brave and interesting. No top deck of the infinite. Damn it. I hope to god that would happen. I can basically play kind of control. He is most certainly relying on Modok here. Hmm. 
Yeah, like he really relies on Modok. So if I can predict the Modok lane, we kinda win. No top deck of the Infinite. We basically didn't get to play Cyclops in any of our games. He only got his effect off twice. F funny enough, when everyone always says, you always draw the Cyclops. I never draw the Cyclops, but that's funny. But we did draw the Sunspot more consistently. Why didn't I use the other variant of Sunspot that I have? Like, I mean, this one looks great, but I have a better version of it, basically. If he snaps, I'm gonna get out. But so far, we're not looking worse for wear. It could be worse. Well, what, what are you expecting? Leech to pop up? Le well, is he maximizing the timer so he can snap because he saw it in tournaments? Modok. If it's Modok, we're liable to lose here. Hella. Legit insane. Why? If any of them went mid, I would have been. I would have popped out of my seat. Oh, hey, Infinite. How you doing, buddy? I basically don't even look at anything, right? I just play Cosmo and end the turn. There is no way he can win Crown City, I think. Yeah, we win. Hella, if she went like mid or left, I was gonna just snap right there, but there we go! We managed to just insta-kill the Hella matchup every single time we faced it, besides one game where our opponent had quite literally Turbo Crack in his hand. Let's go back to Deckhead. Sometimes it's best to keep it simple, don't you think so? Because wow, this deck is absolutely incredible. Winning 14 cubes! I didn't expect that Haivo would do so well, considering that everybody knows what Haivo does. But this deck, while it's not that interesting, it's very powerful when you know how to play it exactly correctly. Now, while the deck has no nuance and you just put Sunspot, put Misty Knight, sleep it off and win, you need to know what your opponent's decks are running. You need to know when the guy can just swap out magic. You need to know when and you should hold Cosmo for the final turns. Cyclops is absolutely ridiculous when you get him off, but that requires you knowing where your opponent's gonna play cards, and when should you conserve your mana so Sunspot gets his effect, Hulk grows bigger, and all of that stuff. It is just a very, very interesting deck that has a lot of play lines that can just beat the meta. Like, Leech is absolutely insane against Hela, but it's also good against Loki, because Loki now plays alive, and mostly every, every deck plays alive. Like, this kills this card, this kills Destroy, this is the card you need to beat the said decks. This this is our little, how do we say it? It is our equalizer. If everyone's gonna try to do unfair stuff, we're just gonna remove their abilities and kill them into the sun. And that is why I consider Leech to be quite healthy in high evo only. When other decks do it, you're like, if you lose to high evo who got Leech off, man, why didn't you retreat? Like, it's obvious what they're gonna do. It is a very on-the-nose deck. You know what's high evo doing, but it's really good at doing it. And that's the entire point of why it's powerful. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a quick like, comment, and subscribe as I do these kinds of videos every day. Helps me a lot. Make sure to follow my Twitch stream in the description. Blah, 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 boys. I was Rambek, and I'll see you in the Snap Mania. Love you all. Take care of yourselves.